People go through thick and thin to acquire a foreign passport and a PhD. For instance, to acquire a PhD, you need to have a master's degree and then you have to go to school again for at least four to seven years to pursue a course in a philosophy of doctorate's degree. And also, in acquiring a foreign passport, you need to at least provide a residence permit and also be in the country for a while. But a Ghanaian citizen based in the Netherlands named Kofi Gaps, popularly known by people on the net as Mr. Happiness, made it look so simple. Madame Fupa, your friend Rumio, that may be Ghana 23rd March 2018, on a drive me call airport, CCR or US Chicago, six years name in Hunia. Holland Ham, it's a mini baby US embassy. But one because of this passport, and I'll pay me cast some person because I'm a room. I'm a toilet soon, I'm a Philly US Esther application. I'm a just $21. You can't tell me to take 72 hours and send me your approval. In one hour, 20 minutes, and I'm your approval by it. You want the power of this passport? PhD will live on Kramba. It also took us to some universities in Ghana to inquire views from students, and this is what they got to say. <laughs> Ebusian fo, money me buy has been seen prim prim gun a high away dear. A dear back qua air jini, air gin to handle the runner ebu bo my dream as we don't edge from my dream, a fan on any say, PH day upon a gana hasi, and you'll be man's passports may trade ebia UK, Holland, Germany, or her passports, and we are etching PH day upon a gana hasi. A benum to see PH day upon a gana hasi, we are chairman who also passport, meaning my dream trade for home. Nessa ain't not any me career boy will move ever legal campus with University of Ghana, Ghana's the largest and premier university. Every room has a bit. Informa give a decent shell and a capsule, so you'll be a June son sent him. Would you so a much show bema? Women and why you crew or bows and carbon if you are if you are not positive to crono and may ya. But give a decent shell and a capsule, a shock and now in TV and to shine a swammy, so you'll be our mom friend for a bow of faith for an ample summer for you if you do me on a match of sedry and noon beans. I felt the four. Mummy and more money and coach a month for Nadrin Tre, a fast PhD, any UK passports, dear way, and I will be mummy and connie could see your margin tree. And so we are here on the campus of University of Ghana, we gone, and I have a beautiful lady here. She's gonna show. But that's her opinion on as to whether she knows choose between um, a UK passport and a PhD. Which of them does she prefer? And so, my lady, between a UK passport and a PhD, which do you prefer? UK passport. Why do you prefer UK passport to a PhD? Ghana now is difficult. Things are hard here, so I don't see why I should stay here. If I get a chance, I'll go seriously. Yeah. I won't stay. So you are like currently, currently, currently schooling before the chance hasn't yet come. Of course. So the moment you get a chance, you're gonna. Seriously, I'll go. You can visit any PhD and ask you can pass with me PhD or Ghana, honey. You move back. I'll go in for the PhD. Why a PhD? Uh, because I feel like that's why I'm here. You met me on campus, yes. so I wouldn't be here just for a degree. Maybe I would feel like after the degree, I want to continue my education. Yeah, me. so. I'm going for the PhD. And so we are still here at Ghana's largest and premium university, University of Ghana, Lake Conde. Gen Z's will tell you, like, I'm here with another beautiful lady who's here to show with us her opinion about whether she's going to choose a PhD over a UK passport or a UK passport over a PhD. And see, when you have a UK passport, you need a PhD in your back. You made the income for a UK passport. And so, what school will you go on? And you say, what degree you are? Um... I but soon say um a bit more about degree or my year school so I'm only a German yet but I brought it there. Who treat it all like scrubbing your scar? For example, Mr. Happiness say, or Jenny or deep better like oh when you see car what you are saying. Opportunity is not but see see and so you know I say UK passport be able be assets. I'm a resident. Maybe be OBJ school as well because now you can. Michael. Hey, Michael. Pan. Because Michael. I'm single because the many are on a social media. 
and uh, I wanted to ask you something because UK passports with a job or something like that, or just a UK passport with a UK passport, and then we all know that UK passport is one of the most powerful passports in the world. Like, it's ranked, I would say, it's ranked the second best in the world. And see, UK passports, um, PhD, I born in Ghana, I see me. I would say Ghana has still the way Oh, UK, UK passports, UK I don't know, passports. UK passports. Uh, it comes with something attached to it. Uh, and they're the strongest, as you just said. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, UK passports. Over oh, a PhD in your country. In Ghana. Yes. Uh, I like UK passports. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so thank you very much for doing this for me. So we are still here at one of the hostels inside the University of Ghana, Lincoln, with another beautiful lady who's also going to share with us what she thinks about choosing between a PhD and a UK passport. Between a PhD and a UK passport, you're in army. But you're paying UK passports over a PhD reason, let's say. But you're always saying, see, I'm not a son. A juma, a wolf, unemployment, unemployment rate, a caution. And even say, see, I'm in a post school, but what's the possibility to save any juma after saving this? And see, after now, very green one, my master's, my book PhD. And with the passport, you know, so we need a passport and then, 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 May may it to me and may you keep us for some Ghana PhD. Made us no agent for me, and I made us be free. Right in CPS student to live on my name. In between a PhD and a UK passport, there will now be PhD. Who is PhD? The UK passport. PhD over UK passport. Or reason is in the other UK passport. Reason is say with PhD. When your PhD now, now we'll call a dream. Maybe I'll pay baby. Because of a high rank in education, it's no bit me, and then with a good work, we bet me this I have a passport, I could be three about any time. But if it's believed, we're gonna have by majority, they will say, who can PhD, who can HND, who can first class, who can master, like be a corner, you still become jobless. When you're my age, no, please. Between a PhD and a UK passport, which are you gonna choose? Probably a PhD. Here in Ghana, and what's your reason? Um, there is no reason. I just feel like a PhD will do it for me. Yeah, a PhD will do it for you. So, say, let me give you a short scenario. It's not gonna happen, though, but it's just a scenario. You have this PhD in Ghana, and then probably you have no job. Probably you are unemployed. Will you still be comfortable as to not choosing the UK passport over that PhD you chose? It will, be, it will be very difficult for you to have a PhD and not have a job. Minya Bema, PhD in your UK passports in your back. UK passports. Over PhD. Give us GC Mecca, MMA Castle, and Shisa. Right now, I've got a student of Gimpa right here with me, and he's going to share with us his thoughts on as to whether he's going to choose between a PhD here in Ghana over a UK passport. Gentlemen, you're welcome to the channel. Thank you. Are you going to choose between, I mean, between a PhD here in Ghana and a UK passport, which am I going to choose? I'll go for a UK passport. What's your reason? Well, basically, PhD in Ghana here, what are the uh, works that are required for us? Basically, when, we, when you go for a PhD in Ghana here, actually, you are not assured that you, you even get work to do. Okay. Even we have graduates who have degree, just yeah. mere degree. They are struggling to even get work to do yeah. so i would prefer the uk the uk passport because though i haven't been to uk before but with a lot of experience with other people who have been there who don't even have certificates are able to get a better job to do yeah. a well-paid job to do yeah. 
So I will go for a UK okay. passport. So between a PhD here in Ghana and a UK passport, which one are you going to choose? I'm going for the UK passport. And what are your reasons? Because it's more valid and it's more promising than the PhD in Ghana. Because comparing the PhD to the benefits you get here in Ghana is not really worth it. Okay. Yes. But the UK passport, you get better benefits and better pays than what you get for the PhD in Ghana. Very obsessive. No, cover what my channel is. It's the um. Any any problem? Because you say UK passport, it's one of them. Now you the um PhD. I work on a house. It's one of them. I do here now. As for me, I'll go for the UK passport. We do have a UK passport. The PhD. I born in Ghana. I need to wear now. Never UK passport. No, we don't have a UK passport. So we are Ghana. We now pay UK passport. If you say, say me call her, me feel this opportunities be brave with her. I feel you should be more as you, or more or more PhD. Now, so more need you, my papa, be an yeah. Me feel this as me call her, me need you, my papa, and we're here. But when say I na yes, eh, oh, cool, oh, cool, better run a me because oh, cool, my son, you know, oh, feel this as oh, be just pass but you're cool, be cool me as a, oh, feel comfortable. Now, oh dear, can I na have it? Oh, me the may okay. Once a baby be arrested, so we take risks. Now we come now we cross the line. No more being there. Wo, I had them. Me wo had them so. Me come. Ah, I'm not passing so much money now. Sir Pepe. We da so so we so so we wa do we da so we. And so I have a lady here, and most of the times we say ladies love education. I've got a lady here. She's going to share with us her view on as to whether a UK passport is valuable than a PhD. So my dear sister, between a UK passport and a PhD here in Ghana, which one do you prefer? I'll go for the PhD. And so I've got a lady here who's here to share with us her view on as to whether a PhD is more important to a UK passport or a UK passport is important or valuable than a PhD. And so my guess is the welcome. Thank you. Right, and so between a PhD and a UK passport, which one do you prefer? Hmm. I prefer the UK passport. Why do you prefer UK passport? Because you're still here in Ghana. So why do you prefer UK passport to a PhD here in the country? Yeah, okay. To start with, we all know that opportunity comes at once. And if you get an opportunity, everyone is willing to go outside to work. Majority. Majority. Let me say majority. If I mean, I, I'm sure you two, you want. <laughs> you want to travel outside. You need to find. Um, the UK passport to, if you immediately, like, you have to say, what call abroad? You can go and feather your PhD there. Okay. Yes, you can go and feather it there. Okay. But beside, if you take the PhD too, that one too is okay. But I, mean, I prefer the UK passport than the PhD because the UK passport is more beneficial than the PhD passport. Yes. Gentlemen, what do you think is important, a PhD or a UK visa? Mm, both is important, but... For me, for my opinion, I'll go for the UK, the UK visa, eh, the UK passport. Why would you go for UK passport over a PhD here in Ghana? Because here in Ghana, with there are people who have the PhD but they are unemployed. But when you go to UK, there is a possibility that you can get work over there. Then you set up everything. Right. So you choose a UK visa or UK passport over a PhD here in Ghana. Yeah. Right, thanks a lot for sharing your view with us. And so, gentlemen, which um, amongst the PhD and then um, UK visa or UK passport do you think is valuable? Um, I think the UK visa is more valuable than the PhD. What's your visa? I mean, you are a student, so what's your reason? Uh, when we have UK visa, oh, we can get work to do over there. But here, <laughs> even after school, we need to struggle. After school, unless you do connection, if you don't have connection to how, like... You become jobless. Yeah, so I think the UK visa is more valuable than the PhD. All right, so thanks a lot for sharing your view with us on that one. Thanks a lot. So, yeah. This made some media practitioners in the country to also make these statements or comments. It says, a PhD versus some little book. Okay. And this is what it says. This a PhD basically makes you an expert in what could be considered a microcosm of human knowledge, so your oh. area of research. Okay. While it may have cross applicability and enhance your personal competence, it does not by any means guarantee success in life or work. Mm. So if you feel getting a Dutch passport will guarantee your success or fulfillment in life, 
go for it. Good luck. Mm, uh, okay. So to everybody, your choice. Your choice. I mean, Charlie, the, the reality be say, even in your home in Ghana here, mm -hmm. if you have a PhD holder in your house in Ghana <laughs> as a family, and you have somebody in the US who, who probably teaches just maybe um, at UCC in Ghana, and you have another family member in the US who is probably just cleaning the streets, but he's probably built about two, three houses in Ghana. He sent his remitting money home. Yeah. Between that person and the PhD holder, whose salary is really, it's a struggle. Between those two people, who are you going to really, really, really respect? It's in broken societies where that you find people according respect based on who has what. That, that kind of thinking, it, excuse my language, but it's a sick mentality that you only respect people who have money. It's a sick mentality. So the issue of who is richer for me is not even an issue to consider. This is someone's uneducated guess that we are trying to further as a people, really. Again, the concept of a PhD is not for you to go and buy whatever. It's, it's, not, for you, it's not to facilitate riches for you. Right? So what so is it? It is not, what? as I've established. And you see, there are certain things that are independent of our own misapplied, misconstrued, uneducated guesses. Well, so I think the guy had a point and he made it clearly. It's people who didn't get his point that should have an issue, not him. The point that he was trying to make is that People acquire PhD because they want a better life. They want, they want to get something better. It's supposed to come with something. You don't get it easily. Even when you're going to um, the Ligons and then the UPSA and then the UCC for the Ligon, see the way that the candidates, they struggle before they are awarded with that certificate. So at the end of the day, it should come with something better. Improve your life. Have some significance or meaning. That's the point that he's making. If you go through all that stress, all that trouble, and you don't have that benefit, you don't have that, that thing, then why are you doing it? Because his passport is giving him the better life that you with that stress that you've gone through, mm. you can't get. And that is the point that he's making. And I agree with him totally. I mean, why will you not agree with him? It is true. People have PhD and they are even poor. So if he's saying that they don't even have access to basic things that his passport is giving him access to. So why are you arguing with him? Why will you, why will Ghanaians be angry about the submission that he's making? No, we should rather be applauding him be because he's saying the things that we wish we can say or, or like we want people to say for us. As at now, there is no one in Ghana here among the youth, even the people that are PhD candidates themselves that are currently trying to get their PhD. There is no one that you can offer a foreign passport to that, oh, let's go of this PhD. Mm. Or will you want to take this PhD certificate over this foreign passport? And the person will say yes, in Ghana now, no, no. So why why are we why are we disagreeing with him? Give us this mixture and a capsule. Ah, shut up.